Hi everyone, I'm Mike Vesey. Welcome to Mike's Alternate Reality Show, the show I put together to talk to artists that are out there pursuing their passions. Got a packed show for you tonight. Uh, we will be talking to talk show host and producer Denise Boland and her model daughter, Kelly Boland, as she has just competed in her first beauty pageant. But first up, we have a returning guest, my good friend Caleb T. Johnson, a professional singer who just made his own music video. Caleb, welcome back to the show. Great to be back. Great, Great to, to have you. Back. So uh, you are a professional singer. You, you're primarily a wedding singer, I think is the way you yes, I am. Make, a, make a lot of your living. Yes, yes. And absolutely. how's that going? Great, wonderful. Excellent. You get to travel the world with that, right? Isn't that a blessing? I, I finally get to do the thing that I've always wanted to do, and that was to sing and travel the world. And I'm doing that with this new wedding band. And getting paid for it. And getting paid. Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> Isn't that a wonderful thing? That's the trick. Yes. That's the trick. So well, what venues have you been playing lately? Um, you know what? I don't remember some of the names, but it's some of well, the Well, no, but like what, what cities? What towns? Um, New York, Connecticut. Um, we're about to go to Texas in a couple of months. Uh, so how does a person in Texas hear about your band? I mean, like, how, how, did, how does the wedding band get such a global following? Well, my agency, um, they're based out in New York. And they're connected to everyone. Everybody who's somebody in this entertainment world, they know. Mm. Excellent. Okay, so yeah. what part of Texas do you know? Um, I think Houston, Texas, we're going. Okay. So tell me about your new song. Now, this, is a, this is an original song. This isn't a cover. Because in The Wedding Band, I'm sure you're mainly playing covers. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But this is an original. Yes. So at this time, I decided to do something different because I've been singing a lot of R&B, gospel. And I said, let me do a little something different because this is, being that I am a wedding singer, I said, let me do something that form fits to what I do. So I basically connected with my musical director that's in my wedding band. His name is Joe Alico. Okay. And me and him created a song called I Choose You, a wedding song. Oh, perfect wedding song. Perfect wedding song. Yeah. And what was it like writing it? I mean... It was wonderful. Um, the idea was like this. He said, you come up with the idea, and I'll basically put the music around it. So I came up with the song. I just came up with it. And um, he listened to it and form fit, and here we are. What did you find coming first, the lyrics or the melody? Mm. Or did it come at the same time? I mean, I've never, I've never written a song. <clears throat> I wouldn't know where to start to write a song. I think the melody came first. The okay. melody came first, and then I, formed, then I basically put the lyrics around it. Gotcha. And that's how I created the song. So, making a song is great. Having a band to play it is even better. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so have you played it live? Have you played it at, at a wedding yet? Not yet. Uh, Not yet. Will you get to play it in Texas, do you think? Let's put our fingers crossed. <laughs> you, okay. you never know. You never know. You never know. Well, fortunately, we can all see it now because you have a music video. Yes. My um, friend <clears throat> and um, video director, Jimmy Newsom, a.k.a. CL, okay. he directed my music video. How did that come about? Um, did he volunteer to do it? Did you raise money? I mean... Well, you know... Everything is going to cost. Yeah, there's, sure. Yeah, there's yeah. no way to go around that. So, But being a startup, well. Well, you know, he saw my vision, and he was like, I want to help you create that vision and bring it out there to the world. Right. So thank you, CL. Which is how creativity works, though. It's like, Absolutely. It's like it, when, when someone is, they have a passion for it. Mm -hmm. The passion, and the people can see the passion. They want to be a part of that passion. Absolutely. You know, it, Absolutely. it is contagious. So that's, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. So where did you shoot? We um, shot the video literally at his studio. Oh, perfect. Right. And then we just found actors and stuff like that and put it together, and here we are today. Wow. And so we'll show the video uh, in, in a moment, but um, where else can people find it? Is it on YouTube? Is it on it's on like YouTube. It's, it's literally, well, as of now, it's on YouTube. Okay, so we can Google Caleb T. Johnson. And, yes. And I choose you. I choose you. Let's take a look at this music video. I Choose You by Caleb T. Johnson. Crashing 
Walking on the shore Sounds of traffic never ending Drum beating the way I feel when I'm with you That's what's going on inside my heart For you on this day I choose you I choose you You're the center of my joy's delight I choose you There's no other than you that can bleed me right I choose you With this ring I will show you right I choose you Bolts of lightning Sparks of excitement As I'm standing here Looking into your eyes Thoughts are our future Together starts to as God's ray of vision shining down on us Showing me the things that we are Bound to embark Yes, that's what's going on Inside my mind For you on this day I choose you I choose you You're the center of my joy's delight And that was the first original music video by Caleb T. Johnson. Caleb, congratulations. Thank you so much, Terrific man. job. Terrific thank you, job. thank you, thank you. So, and good luck in Texas. I hope you get to play this song in Texas. I hope so. I, I truly hope so. Now, you are, we met working on my friend Denise's show, Remember This. Mm -hmm. You have uh, become one of her regulars, her co-hosts. Um, How's that going? How, do you, how are you enjoying that? I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I truly thank Denise Bolin because she has given me an opportunity to present my artistry to the world on TV, and that's amazing. And now I'm a host on her show every Wednesday. Right here on CTV. Right here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, I wish you well. Good luck in Texas. Good luck with the video. Thank you. It's really well done, and I think people will really enjoy it. And the song, I think the song could be a new standard, a new wedding staple, if you will, moving forward. I received that. All right. I believe so, too. All right. Absolutely. And thank you for allowing me to be on your show again. This oh, always a awesome pleasure, Caleb. Show, bro. Always a pleasure. <laughs> we will be right back with model Kelly Boland right after this. Yeah. So I'm at the gym this morning. I'm trying really hard to do my second pull-up. <laughs> and I looked down, I realized I was wearing a Superman T-shirt. <laughs> I just let go and I dropped to the floor. I mean, think about it. 
I was a meme waiting to happen. <laughs> Hi everyone, we're back with Mike's alternate reality show. My next guest is a young model from here in Staten Island, New York, who just competed in her first beauty pageant. She's also a singer-songwriter. We'll be hearing a song, she'll be singing a Billie Eilish song for us later. She was featured in the Staten Island Advance when she competed in the Miss Teen New York pageant, I think. Well, she'll correct me if I'm wrong. Please welcome Kelly Boland. Kelly. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for coming on the show. Of course. Okay, so what, what beauty pageant was it? I know I got that wrong. <laughs> I competed in the Miss New York Teen USA pageant. Miss New York Teen USA, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I knew I'd get that wrong. <laughs> it's okay. So that was your first beauty pageant ever? My first one ever. How'd it go? It was amazing. <laughs> I was really excited. I thought I was going to be nervous, but I wasn't. It was so exciting and different, and I would definitely do it again. What, what made you do it in the first place? Like, how did you hear about it, or...? I used to watch pageants, and I just thought that they were interesting, but I always had, like, this weird, like, idea about them that they were all about, like, looks and, like, the girls were nasty. But I started learning more about it after I kept following the winners from last year. And I don't know, I just kind of wanted to do it. And my mom actually brought up the idea that I should do Miss Staten Island. And I decided to go bigger, and I just wanted to do Miss New York, so... <laughs> Miss New York Team yeah, USA. I, so I went, and I sent in my headshots. I got my headshots done, and I sent them in, and I got a call back. I did the phone interview, and I actually didn't tell anyone about it. <laughs> um, my mom didn't even know until after I got accepted and everything. So, yeah, I kind of just took it upon myself to, to apply. That's an amazing surprise. Yeah. You, you get to tell your mother that you're in the, the, yeah. the pageant. Like, yeah, wow. I was like, yeah, I'm in it. And good for you doing all that work by yourself. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't know where to start to get it to the yeah. Miss New York Teen USA pageant. <laughs> so you say the girls, uh, you thought, like, were the girls not nasty? They were actually really nice, and I was surprised. Like, they were all really sweet and supportive. Yeah, because in the movies, you, know, you always see these movies about beauty pageants, and everyone's exactly. like clawing exactly. each other and backstabbing each other. But no, my, my friend Samantha Rose um, competed in Miss... New York, I think. And she said the same thing. Everyone's pretty nice. You they know? are, yeah. And, um, which is good to hear. So, mm -hmm. so what was your talent? Was it singing? Did you sing? There was actually no talent portion, which oh, wow. I kind of wanted there to be, but it's one less thing to worry about. But, yeah, um, I definitely would have sang. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but there was no talent. We'll talk about the singing in a moment. Um, what were the categories if they didn't have talent? There was Wait, did they have swimsuit? They, no, there was yeah, no they swimsuit. Yeah, they rid of that too. Um, they actually didn't get rid of it. It was just not in my division. I was in the teen division. But there was activewear as a replacement, and there was interview, which was a two-minute interview, and then there was evening gown. Evening so gown. So it was three parts. Okay. Well, that sounds like fun. Were yeah. You, you weren't nervous for the interview? Um, I kind of was. I definitely was before, but... Um, the staff was really nice and they were supportive and they, they kind of sat us in a room before the interview and they were like, okay, so make sure you say hi, my name is, make sure you say thank you judges at the end. Um, they're really nice, just make sure that you smile. Like they were really just like walking us through it, which really helped me, like it like gave me a moment to like relax and like actually think about what I was doing. But yeah, um, I walked in and it was a panel of seven judges um, there was just a chair in the middle of the floor, and I sat down, and I was like, hi, my name is Kelly Boland, um, and they asked me a couple questions. Excellent. Wow. Yeah. So please tell me about this uh, necklace you're wearing. This necklace I'm wearing is actually a collaboration with um, a good friend of mine. He owns this brand called Friendship Lights. Friendship and Lights. And his name is Jack. Um, when he found out that I was competing in Miss New York Teen USA. Um, he wanted to do something really special for it, and I did too. So we came up with this design, and it's a butterfly with the mental illness ribbon. And it says mental health awareness, and we created these as a part of my mental health platform. Oh, nice. And I donated it. I donated some of them to people in need of, like, support. Mental health, mental health yeah. treatment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to ask about your platform. Every contestant needs a platform, right? Well, actually, for this pageant that I competed in, you don't need a pa you don't need a platform, which I thought you did, but I had one um, 
just because because I'm really passionate about mental health. But yeah, it's just something that I always supported. Excellent, excellent. Well, tell me about your your music career. Um, you're a singer, obviously. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna see a, a song from you in a moment. Yeah. Um, how did you get started doing that? I started singing when I was 11 years old, and growing up, I struggled with a lot of anxiety and depression. I got bullied a lot growing up, and um, I felt like no one really understood what I was going through. So I was very shy, but I always loved music and I loved to sing. So when I realized that I could sing, like it was like the best thing for me ever. And I just kept practicing and practicing and I just grew to love it more and more. Are you self-taught? Do you take yes, lessons? Yes, I am. Totally self-taught? I'm 100% self-taught. Did you have a karaoke machine growing up? <laughs> no, I, I used to stay up at night just like singing to those little like karaoke YouTube videos. <laughs> and, I just <laughs> and I just loved it. Excellent. It was really helpful. And what song are we going to be hearing from you tonight? Today I'm going to sing Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish, and she is such an inspiration to me. I love her music, and I love her. All right. What other artists do you like? I love Shawn Mendes. Um, he, was very, he was very inspirational to me um, when I started singing, too. When he started music, he was 16, and I was 12, so he was a huge inspiration to me because he started out when he was young. And I've seen him in concert so many times. Like I used to see him since I was like 12. And I actually saw him last summer and he's amazing. Like I will never stop seeing him in concert. Like I love him. <laughs> Excellent, well, good to know. Uh, let's take a look at your song and then we'll bring your mother out and we'll. Okay. All right, so here uh, singing is Kelly Boland. Yesterday was a year ago, but I don't want to let anybody know, cause everybody wants something from me now, and I don't want to let them down. I had a dream, I got everything I wanted, but when I wake up I see Just say, as long as I'm here, no one can hurt you. Don't want to lie here, but you can learn to. If I could change 
Hi everyone, I'm Mike Vesey. We're back. That was Kelly Bolin with Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. Beautiful job, Kelly. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, so Billie Eilish, she's huge now, right? She is. She's so big. She's blowing it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, so who else do you like to sing? What, what other... I mean, have you written your own music yet? No, I haven't, but I plan to. Plan to write your own stuff? Yeah. Okay. What other artists do you like to uh, perform? Like me, um, I go to karaoke bars. I love doing Beatles. <laughs> I love doing Tom Petty. I love doing Cheap Trick, you know, because I can do them. You know? Yeah, Billie Eilish is definitely my number one because her songs just come so natural to me. Like, just the way she sings, the way her music is. But At least she's, she's, yeah, she's, she's definitely my go-to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to introduce my new guest. Uh, it's my good friend, Denise Boland, who also produces a show here at CTV. She's the producer and host of Remember This, and that's... That's how we met. Denise, yes. thank you for coming on my show. Thank you for having finally. me. This is an honor. I've been able to uh, host thank some you. game shows on your show. It's yes. a lot of fun. It's done great, too. It's a great job. So you just celebrated your fifth anniversary of doing I did. I can't believe how fast that went. Yeah, we started the show in... You were actually the first person to interview me. <laughs> yeah, yep, back in 2015. Wow, coming full circle. Um, yeah, 2015. We so. started the show. It started out from a Facebook group that I created called Remember This. And we were just posting pictures of like bell bottom jeans and platform shoes and yo yos and stuff from back in the day. And it really grew like wildfire. Everybody you've, was getting into it. So Yeah, you've got quite an amazing collection of toys. I've been to your home and you've got a. Uh, it, it, it's definitely a passion for you. <laughs> it's not I, just. Yeah. Uh, I started out, I have a big collection of celebrity dolls. And I, I think I started out with uh, Lucille Ball. Okay. Yeah, and now I have like, I don't know, maybe about 80 of them. But 80 celebrity Clark, dolls? Yeah, Clark Gable, Frank Sinatra. The, yeah. the list is too long. I don't know if I could name 80 celebrities, <laughs> especially ones that have dolls. The little rascals are in there. and Yeah. yeah well, my passion is a Batman and Star Trek and Simpsons <laughs> action figures. Go. It's all built up. But I've, uh, I've stopped buying yeah, action it, figures. It, yeah, it gets a little cluttery after a while. Yeah. yeah. What other cool collections do you have? Um, I have a lot of albums. From back in the day, I have Sonny and Cher's first album. Do you have a record player? Do you have I do. I have a record player. I have two record players. I have a portable. Do you remember the portable? Yeah, like sure. Like a little yeah. plastic that suitcase. A, yep. Yep. And, and, and it I, works. It does work. Yeah. Okay. And um, gosh, so much. I have a lot of retro toys like a Slinky and Silly Putty and board games. Remember the color forms? And I loved color forms. Yeah. I loved that. You know, something so simple entertained us for the longest time, you know? We loved it. And uh, this is way before the digital age. So, yeah, it's just all this exciting stuff that uh, we grew up with. I love to have it. I love to, like, look at it from time to time and things that remind me of my childhood. Now, have you gotten to meet any of the uh, celebrities from our our childhood? We're about the same age. Yeah, not exactly yeah. Same. Actually, I got to meet Donny Osmond. You got to meet Donny Osmond? Donny Osmond. He came to uh, Staten Island, the St. George Theater, uh, probably about three, four years ago. And um, I got a, fr a good friend of mine, um, John Tita, who uh, works for ASCAP. He, I said, oh, my God, I would love to meet Donny Osmond. And sure enough, in the middle of his performance, John texts me and he goes, are you here? I said, yes, I'm here. He goes, all right, I got a backstage pass for you. I was like, yes. Nice. So I got to go backstage. And he was so funny. He was the first person to go in before me. Her name was Donna. And so Donny opens the door and he goes, hi, what's your name? And she says, Donna. He goes, oh, Donna. <laughs> and then he gets to me. I said, I bet you don't know my song. And he goes, what's your name? I said, Denise. He's like, oh, Denise. <laughs> 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 um, but just, he was such a delight. I, I, I felt like I knew him for years. That's how friendly he was. So well, it's good to see that he had that kind experience. of energy because you saw him after the show. 
he had a lot of energy after the show. Yes. And th yeah. that's great. Yeah. And uh, that was great, great experience. I'd love to meet his sister Marie one day. That would be nice. Yeah, they, they both they both managed to stay relevant, you know? I mean, they, they had their teen pop star years, and then they, yep. they've done talk they shows. They just did a 10-year stint in Vegas. They had their own show in Vegas, and that ended. They were there for 10 years? 10 years. I wow. think they were supposed to do it for six weeks, something like that, and it lasted 10 years. And so now that's over, and Marie is actually on a talk show. She's one of the hosts on a talk show in the city, the one with Sharon Osbourne and Sarah Gilbert. I forget the name of it, but she's on that. Okay. Yeah. Might be the talk, but I really don't know. Sounds good. So. Yeah. Um, okay, so what was it like when your daughter came to you and announced that she was in a beauty pageant upstate? I was like, what? Um, I, at first, I couldn't believe it. I was like, how? What? what? Yeah. Because I always thought pageants, you have to do the local first. Yeah. And then you move up. And so we talked about it because we had Sam. Remember? Yeah. Sam, yeah, yeah. Sam Samantha was, Rose, I, Miss Richmond County. Yeah, yeah, I interviewed, she was Miss Richmond County. I interviewed her. And so I would talk to her and get a little advice for Kelly because Kelly seemed interested. And I said, you know, you should you should join this the uh, Miss Staten Island pageant. So when she said this, I'm like, wait a minute. How, how did she get <laughs> up there? But, but it's different, right? Yeah. Miss America is different. It's a different organization. There's two main organizations. It's Miss America and Miss USA. It's completely different. Right. So for the one that you were in, which was Miss America, right? Miss USA. Miss USA. Okay, so Miss yeah. USA, I get it mixed up. <laughs> um, you could tell I was never in the pageant. Okay. But um, so, yeah, with hers, like she said, she did a phone interview. She sent a picture of herself, and then they, they let her join. So. Yeah. But where, I didn't even ask you, where was the pageant? It was upstate in Purchase College. Yeah, Harrison, oh, okay, New York. Not too yeah. far. Not too I far. think it was in White Plains, right? It was well, near White, White Plains, Plains was where the hotel was. It was in Harrison, New York. So we had to drop okay. her off on a Friday morning, and then it was just like practice, practice, for, right? You did yeah. like hours and hours yeah. of practice, rehearsals. Yeah. Saturday was the, um, the preliminaries. Yeah, which was like the big competition. Like who, it determined who was going into the final competition. Right, and then Sunday. And did you make the final competition? No. no, that was okay. too short. Too short. Well, she <laughs> says that. Like, you don't really no, know exactly even, what the judges even are looking Kenny for. Said that. Even Kenny said that. Well, Ken Kenny is uh, her, her photographer and my video engineer. But I, I have to say my theory on the pageants, and based on talking to Samantha and people like that, uh, I just don't think the first-timers get through it's the It's very hard. I, I think yeah. it's it is. Very a lot hard. Of she did say that. Didn't yeah. she say the finalists were all in the pageant before? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a lot I think there's a lot of networking involved and a lot of just um Yeah. It's just like experience, training, practice. Like you, you really have to know what you're doing in order to like really succeed in that. Yeah. yeah oh, I'm sure you will next time you're going to do it again? Yeah. All right. <laughs> but but also because of the the article in the advance, the director mm -hmm. of the Miss Staten Island pageant contacted the paper and said please send this message to kelly we want her oh. to compete yeah. in our pageant so, so she's excited be, about that it was cool you could be quite a pageant regular this year and they yeah. have two winners so they have miss staten island and miss richmond county like right. Samantha mm -hmm. Rose. okay yeah. well keep an eye out for kelly boland i think she's going places do look for remember this here on ctv hosted by denise boland and special thanks to my good friend caleb t johnson his new music video is on YouTube. I'm Mike Vesey. Thank you for watching. Good night.